this video, we are going to talk about the case study. We are going to use the Handbook of Practical Program Evaluation written by Joseph S. Holy, Harry P. Hartree and Catherine E. Newcomer. First, what are case studies? In a general sense, a case study is like an in-depth and extended example that is used to illustrate a particular argument. However, in a more academic sense, we can define a case study as a method for developing a complete understanding of a process, program, event or activity. So in these terms, a case study can be thought about as a way of approaching a research topic. Case studies can integrate both quantitative and qualitative information, and they can do this from a variety of sources, but they will tend to focus on qualitative information to give an in-depth picture of the issue being studied and the broader environment. As Holly et al. explain, case studies can be used for several purposes, including defining the questions and hypothesis of a subsequent study, presenting a description of an event within its context, or establishing a cause and effect relationship. There are a variety of academic fields, from medicine to law to media and communications, that use case studies. Case studies are generally categorised in three ways, exploratory, descriptive or explanatory. An exploratory case study is aimed at defining the questions and hypotheses of a subsequent study. For example, an exploratory case study might involve the in-depth research and analysis of the way a welfare program is successfully operated in a particular state. As a result of this case study, and using the results that the researchers put forward, other researchers can then use this to conduct further research on how to implement or drive new or updated welfare programs, perhaps in other states. A descriptive case study presents a complete description of an event within its context. This means that the research report will be highly descriptive, nuanced, detailed, and emphasize the contextual specificities of the particular example being examined. And lastly, an explanatory case study focuses on establishing cause and effect relationships, explaining which causes are produced, which effects. This means that the study examines the particular outcomes generated from a set of circumstances. For example, perhaps you would like to examine whether eating before swimming has any effect, and what circumstances, the timing after eating or the kind of food eaten, might be adding to those effects. How does one researcher put together a case study? There are four main steps for researchers to put together a case study project. First, they design the study so they know exactly what they are researching and why. This is done by developing research questions, developing a framework based on those questions, and then following through. Second, one will conduct the study using a variety of methods such as research interviews, surveys and questionnaires, document analysis, historical research and other research methods that they might feel is appropriate to their process. And third, researchers must analyse the data and information they have collected and collated. Perhaps they might build a database or use a specific theoretical research tool to systematically sift through the information. Lastly, the researchers must prepare the case study report, which will include not only the findings, but an outline of the context, data collection, and the limitations of the case study. So there you have it. You're ready to start building your own case study. Good luck.